We are now in the reception of the virtual hospital. And as you can see here on the left hand side, uh, you will find the new respiratory ward. And as you walk in, you will see we have now a multi patient experience. Based on the feedback received from the first pilot, more general feedback and guidance for cyclical content have been introduced in this phase. For example, you can see on the different boards here in the reception area, we are providing now an Imperial College badge. It, through the, the Imperial College badge, feedback will be delivered to the learners if they have not carried out any activity for the last five minutes. The badge will inform the students about the patient they last treated and the last activity carried out on that patient. So in order to get the, fit, the, the badge, you need to click on the sign and the system will send a request and will allow you to download the badge. So you have to keep it and that will go in your inventory. The Imperial College badge and then you can wear it. You can click on the activity instructions here to get the instructions um, from Professor Martin Patridge on the activities. And also, it, this is something new we introduced and it's um, basically you need to ask permission to see any of the patients we've introduced here in the ward. So if we want, for example, to see Mr. Chan now, I'm going to click on the, on the sign and ask for permission. So you, you see the system is saying you have permission to see this patient now. Now that I've asked permission to see patient 2, Mr. Chan, um, I'm going to the area where the patient is and something new also we've introduced is the virtual patient panel and the virtual patient panel basically uh, helps you also to provide demanded feedback so if at any point during the activity you need to know where you were before you can then click on the sign resume where left off and the system tells you no activities have been performed for this patient yet. So basically you can get more feedback about this, the system and where you were. You can also ask permission to see the patient, the same thing that we did before, so you can do it from here. Or if at any point during the activity you want to restart again, you can also click on the restart button, but we are not going to do that at the moment. Right, now I'm going to talk to the patient. So when I click on the patient, the system is saying I need to wash my hands before doing this activity. So I'm going to click on the wash basin and the system says my hands are now clean. So I can click back on the patient and the system says, Mr. Chan, doctor, according to the nurse, I have a fast respiratory rate. and." Uh, some feedback is given by the patient. So I also have a sign here for a breath sound. So if I click on that, the system provides the, the breath sound for that patient. And also I've got the patient notes here, which I'm going to access now as well and that's a note card with the profile of Mr. Chan and I'm going to keep that note card right now I'm going to do the uh, differential diagnosis so I click on that and I get a question um, what is the correct differential diagnosis 
So in this case I'm going to say uh, number 4, pneumonia. And I'm going to keep the note card. Right, so you get feedback here about the differential diagnosis and it says that the clinical features suggest pneumonia and management depends on correct assessment of severity and so on and so forth. So I'm going to keep that note card and now I'm going to pay for one of the investigations I want to carry out on this patient. And one of the new things we introduced is the fact that if you don't buy and you don't pick up the right, one, at least one correct investigation, you won't be able to get the final diagnosis. So in this case, I'm going to do the, I'm going to get the x-ray. I'm going to pay for the x-ray first. And the system is saying that I've paid for the investigation and now I need to collect the result from the radiology section. Now I'm going to the different investigations uh, sections and as you can see you've got the cardiac investigations area and you've got the lung function uh, and you've got the radiology area here which is the one we're looking for and you can see Mr. Chan result there. If by any chance you click on any of the other patients because we, we are not treating any of them if I click on Mr. Cook, for example, uh, the system tells you that you need to pay for that investigation. So uh, if I click on Mr. Chan, I get the note card and then I can pick up the results and I can see the x-ray if I click on that, on that link. So you can see the, the x-ray is displayed. Okay, so I'm going to keep that and go back to the patient area. Right, I'm back here in the patient area uh, with Mr. Chan and I'm going to attempt to do the final diagnosis. So I click on the sign and in fact I get the question uh, which box commonly causes pneumonia? So I'm going to get um, different options there. I'm going to answer number four, for example. And then, yes, uh, that was the right answer. And then you get feedback in the, in the note card. And the system is telling me here that I've done the final diagnosis and I need to click, I may need to click on the patient now because the patient wants to talk to me. So if I go back and see the patient and I click on him, again, uh, the system is saying I need to wash my hands. So I'm going to click on the wash basin, wash my hands and click back on the patient. And Mr. Chan is saying, doctor, what can happen if my pneumonia fails to improve? So you get an old card and you get some feedback there. So we will need to consider the following and then you get more feedback about what could happen. And at the end of the note card, I get some information about uh, patient management saying that uh, I need to go to the patient management area to learn more about how to, to manage Mr. Chan. And I'm going to keep this.